What is going on guys? I was just about to hop into the fifth inning showdown, so I figured I might as well record a video for you guys and show you guys some tips and tricks. As you can see here, the fifth inning showdown gives you 70 fifth inning program points, so this is one of the first things you should be doing if you're trying to get up to 300 points to get one of the new fifth inning program rewards, which are Mariano Rivera, Dave Ortiz, and Larry Walker. If you guys didn't check out last video, I'll pop it up at the top of the screen so you can click over there and check it out if you'd like. If you're watching this video and haven't already, hit the subscribe button below, and if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and comment. All right, so now we're gonna hop into this fifth inning program draft. So let's start this video up. Woo! Right off the bat here, I'm gonna take David Ortiz just because I have a lot of gameplay with Larry Walker already. I haven't used Ortiz yet, so I'm gonna take him. One of the first tips I can give you guys is to pick pretty much all hitters. You don't really wanna pick any pitchers here just because there are really no pitching moments in any of these showdowns. There's usually like one or two pitching moments, so hitting is way more useful. So I always use all these draft picks for hitters. Maybe I'll use one for a silver pitcher or something like that. So I'll take my boy Cliff Floyd here. Need some more righties in the lineup. Um, I'm honestly gonna take Labor over JD. I just like his swing more. Go ahead and take Eduardo Escobar and I switch hitter in there. Plays a lot of positions too. Take Gio Urshela to get another, actually I'll take Brian Reynolds to get another switch hitter in there. It's usually pretty good for me also. Take Matt Barnes to get a decent silver pitcher in there. We'll take Renfro as a good power hitting righty. And then if you guys don't know, these perks are very important. There are certain perks that I like way better than the others. Inner piece is one of them. It gives you, this one here, it gives you significant contact boost on pitches down the middle. And a lot of these challenges are going to be on easy difficulty, so you're going to get a lot of pitches down the middle. So I highly suggest Inner Peace. It's a very good perk. And none of these are too good, but I'm going to take Ice Water Vein just to give you a contact boost. So same thing with the perks as um, when you're picking your team. You want to pick all hitting perks pretty much. Pitching perks aren't going to help you out much. Most of the challenges, I would say 90% of the challenges are hitting challenges, so definitely pick all hitting perks. Line up a rock and Brian Reynolds, David Ortiz, Glaber Torres, Cliff Floyd, Eduardo Escobar, Hunter Renfro, Jose Martinez. Danny Jansen and just got a bunch of bronze and commons on my bench and we should be good to go so let's hop into these challenges here first one we got to face Rivera and mount to come back by scoring one run on rookie difficulty should be pretty easy let's get it so as you can see here we're down by one run it's a four to three game in the top of the ninth all we gotta do is tie the game up and score one run and we will complete this mission but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. Base hit started out. Way to go, Reynolds. A nice double play ball. Gotta love when their computer is painting the corners with the sinker on rookie difficulty. And just like that, boys, are down to one out. If we get out of here, we're gonna lose the first mission. Line drop up the middle. It's a gapper. It's not getting in the gap, but we got Glaber over to third. Base hit wins it. And there's a nice line out. Why not? Why not hit a hard line out to lose the first challenge? What a way to start it, boys. So in this challenge here, we just need to tally four total bases in one inning. So a home run would do it, obviously. So I'm just going to try to hit one out. Hopefully when I square one up on rookie this time, it gets out of the stadium and doesn't stay in for a line out. Is undoubtedly one of the best hitters in the sport, and it doesn't matter right handed or left. And great extension as Get out for me, please. In the air and deep the other Let's go. The That's the challenge right there. Just need a homer. We'll take it. And from winning that mission, we get a silver putt or two silver players. All these guys aren't very good. I obviously, don't need a first baseman, but I'm just going to take Voigt because he's the best hitter. And I'll throw him on the bench for a pinch hitter. I'll take Murphy here, put him in at third, and move Eduardo Escobar over to shortstop. All right, in this third mission here, we've got to tally six total bases in a three-inning game. So similar to the last one, all we need is to, uh, total bases. Last one we needed four. This one we need six, but we got three innings to do it. So this one's on rookie as well. Shouldn't be too difficult. There's one right there. Take a hit with Reynolds to start it off. Let's go. And there's a total of five extra bases already. All we need is a single here to win it. 
Uh, opposite field, no doubt bomb for Floyd. That's more than we needed, but we will take it. And third mission is a dub. So far, got two out of three. Somehow lost, lost that first one, but so far, so good. <clears throat> From winning that mission, we get a player and a perk. I'm going to take Ben Attendee here, just get a lefty off the bench. I'm also going to stack as many of these lefties as I can because the final boss is Mariano Rivera. So usually for the final boss, I just put all lefties in my lineup or mostly lefties. So for all these uh, situations where I, no one really fits in my lineup, I'm just going to pick uh, the best lefty available, throw him on the bench, save him for the last challenge. And out of these perks, I think Defibrillator is the best. Get a contact boost in 0011 on a 2 2 count. So I'm going to take this right here. This mission mission here, we have to walk it off with our showdown squad against the Red Sox. So, bottom 12 4 4 game. Nobody on, nobody out. All we need to do is win this game, I believe. I don't even know if it has to be in this inning. As long as we win it, we should be good. Let's get it. Lead things off as they'll try to walk off winners in the bottom half. But that'll be off the right field wall. Got a double to start it off. Definitely a good way to start it from Brian Reynolds right there. Let's get him in, Poppy. Come on. Got him over. All we need to do is get this runner in from third here. That should do it. He'll make the catch, but it ought to be academic now. And there's another another dub for that challenge. And there's another run added onto our score. And we get another silver player pick here. So like I said, I'm just gonna take the best lefty available, which is David Dahl here. I'm gonna throw him on my bench. And jump starts a very good perk, gives you contact boost in the first pitch of the at bat. I swing first pitch a lot, so I'm gonna take this one here. So all we need to do is score one run in this inning to walk it off. Bottom nine again. Nobody on, nobody out. Nine nine game. Just gotta score one run, boys. We gotta do it in this inning this time now. So let's get it. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Is this gonna get out? I think I got under it. Oh, to get out. I'll take it. I thought I got under it, but. That's another successful challenge. Now the next challenge is a boss challenge. So a quick tip I can give you guys for these bosses is it shows you before you even hop into it. Oh, hold on, let me pick someone here first. I'm gonna go with Marcana. I'll go with Contact Boost while behind the count. It's a pretty good one. So one tip I can give you guys about facing these bosses is before you even hop in, if you go hover over the challenge, it shows you who's the pit, who the pitcher is gonna be that you're facing up against. So for this one, it's Jose Alvarado, who I know is a lefty. So you're not going to be fielding or pitching or anything. This is going to be only hitting in this challenge. So I just throw all my best righty hitters in the lineup. So, for example, I'll put Voight in here, and I don't even care what position he's at. I'm just going to throw him in there over this bronze catcher. I just got Marcana, so I'm going to put him in here for Daniel Murphy, I guess. So it just makes it easier having a lefty-righty matchup most of the time. So don't worry if they're out of position because you're not going to be fielding, like I said, for this challenge. So for these boss challenges, they give you a certain amount of outs and you've got to score a certain amount of runs. So here we have a two-run deficit, so we just got to score three to win. It already starts us off with the bases loaded, so it gives us a nice handicap, basically. So all i got to do, essentially, is get that runner from first round to score in ten outs or less, and we win it. So this one should be pretty easy. It's on veteran difficulty, too. Something I could also say about these uh, boss missions is you want to be very patient, especially when you're facing relievers, because their energy will diminish even quicker than if it's a starter. And obviously once you're more patient and their energy and confidence bar dwindles down, then it's going to be easier for you to hit, so just make sure you're not swinging on anything unless it's basically right in the middle of the zone. It's a nice shot to start it, perfect, perfect. It's going to be a fly out though, of course. He's in there. So now the winning runs over at second. It's a base hit up the middle. I'm going to send the 92 speed. Should be in there. And there it is, boys. All it took was two batters. And by the way, if you lose those boss missions, you're going to lose the whole thing and you got to start all over. So you got to make sure you win those mini boss challenges before you face the final boss. A lot of guys I know who are really good at the game, they won't even go past the first boss. So they'll just play the missions up until the first boss. 
get the five runs or whatever it is that you can get and then just skip to the last boss so if you think you're good enough at the game to do that you can do that if not um you can just do the, all the missions and if you win all of them you could make it a tie 15 to 15 by the time you face the final boss who in this case is mariana rivera i also like doing all the missions because you get xp and a lot of stubs along the way and plus it makes it much easier on myself once it comes down to the final challenge gonna take another good lefty and matt olsen here for the final boss challenge here because i know i'm going up against mariana rivera like i said and this is actually my favorite perk here the heart attack perk and that's because it gives you contact boost while you're while you're losing and in any of those boss challenges unless you win all the missions and tie it up you're going to be losing no matter what so you're going to have this perk active at all times and it's good, good contact boost so i definitely suggest getting the heart attack perk if you get the opportunity to take it so now these new missions are going to be on veteran difficulty and we get two runs each for each each mission we complete and we also start getting better rewards so these are more important than the initial missions and they also get a little bit tougher so for this mission in particular we need to tally two extra base hits in a three inning game so not too difficult pretty simple going up against the marlins on veteran like i said we got three innings and the two extra base hits now the pitch a swing and a shot hit down the corner come on get over Let's go. Brian Reynolds 3-0 swinging. We'll take a homer. There's one extra base hit. Just need one more now. We've got nine outs to get one more extra base hit. It was all over that ball with good timing. Boys, tell me, on veteran difficulty, if he hangs the slider and Matt Olson is at the plate and it gets good timing right in the middle of the PCI, it should not be a routine fly out. Am I wrong? Am I just going crazy? Am I not all over that ball? Right in the middle of PCI, good timing. Double play, why not? Getting the gap. That should be a double. He's got 29 speed. Please don't get hosed. We're in there. Thank God, if I lost that challenge after squaring balls up perfectly with Cliff Floyd and Matt Olson, I would have been pissed. But we'll take the dub. Let's go. None of these guys are that great. I'm just going to take Jason Kendall to get Danny Jansen out of my lineup. Clear for takeoff's a good perk. You get uh, velocity eggs of below boost on 001122 swings. But I might be taking running on fumes because the final challenge is against Mariano Rivera and he is a reliever, so he's gonna get less than 50% energy pretty early, right? When he gets around like 20 pitches or so, he's gonna start getting down there in the yellow. So I'm gonna take this one just for the final challenge. So this challenge here, we're going up against Jose Alvarado, who's a lefty, and we can get on base two times without striking out one time in two innings. So I took all my lefties out besides Ortiz at the top of the lineup and replaced them with righties just to make it a little bit easier on myself. And the pitch. And he goes the other way, but he got a lot it's a good swing. Down it's getting down. And that'll get down out there There's the one base hit. Just need to get one more guy on base. Like that. You can't just lay one all right. Guy. Rio, definitely taking. Four pitch walk. Let's go. There it is, boys. Thank you, Alvarado, for making it easy on me. Here's another dub. Okay, we get two runs, a gold player, and a gold perk for completing that challenge. We'll go with my boy Josh Bell here. Since he's a switch hitter, throw him in there in the final challenge against Mariano. I uh, don't really want to use any of these perks. I'll just pick Ice Water Beans. So in this mission, we need to score three runs in three inning game. That's it. Simple enough. Let's get it done. Now, this guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect This has got to get out, right? Let's go, Olsen. That's a big two-run dinger right there. Get out. Please get out. Thank you, God. All right, got that challenge on the last out. Thank you, David Ortiz, you're a beast. Get another two runs for winning that challenge and a gold player and a diamond perk, I believe. Gonna take a Wade Box here, the best lefty on the board. Get him in the lineup once we face Mariano. I'm gonna do the diamond running on fumes. So we're already up uh, to 10 runs. We got two challenges left. If we win both of these, we'll get up to 14 runs. 
I'll take at least one of these. This one should be pretty easy. All we need to do is close out the game here. Um, so basically all we need to do is not let up a run on All-Star in one inning. Should hopefully get this one. Let's get it, boys. The Yankees center fielder. Well, the one thing he definitely didn't want was a long at bat here to start off this night. Three two count, got a good swing on it, but we got the out. Let's go. Got him. All right, just need to get through Mantle now. Got him with the curveball. Nice and easy. Nobody on base, thankfully. And we got another successful challenge, just like that. Another two runs. And we get a diamond player from winning that challenge. These aren't the best players here. I want to go with Ted Williams just because we have a righty. Obviously, uh, Brian Hayes is the best overall player here, but I'm going to go with Ted Williams since we're going up against Mariano Rivera in the final challenge. So if we win this final challenge, we get a diamond player and a diamond perk, plus two more runs, which will bring our total to 14 runs. Going up against Arenado Walker and Helton, we need to come back from a one-run deficit in the eighth inning to secure the win. So we just got to end up winning this game. We're down on the top of the eighth. Nobody on, nobody out. Let's go, boys. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four today. Base hit on the first pitch to start out. Way to go, Reynolds. And that's a base hit. The 0 and 1 delivery. To the right side and through. A base through. I'm not going to send them. We got runners on the corners with nobody out. Throw comes back into the infield. Is that? And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. And there it is. That should be a home run. Let's go. Already take the lead. So now all we gotta do is close this game out, boys. And we get the win, and we'll be up 15 to 14 going up against Mariano in the final challenge. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes. Let's take a walk. Base is loaded. Hunter Renfro up. Might actually bring in a pinch hitter here. Bring Cliff Floyd here, lefty versus right here, the base is loaded. Let's go, big boy. No doubt bomb, that's a grand slam. That should definitely give us enough runs. We're up six now. I think we have this mission in the bag. Got another run, why not? Jorge Mateo scoring easily from first. Speed Demon. Why not? Why not? Tack him on. And there we go, boys. That's another mission success. And now we're headed on to the final boss, which is Mariano Rivera with a 15 to 14 score so we're only down one we only need two runs to win it it's just about the best case scenario i of course lost the first mission of the showdown run so i'm not tied up 15 15 but i'll still take 15 to 14. so for this final mission i am going to stack all of my left-handed hitters in the lineup all my best lefties so right here i'm going to take dave parker put him in there and obviously you're not going to be um, pitching or fielding, so it doesn't matter what positions you put them at, just put your best hitters in the lineup, at wherever. I'll put Dave Ortiz at catcher, it doesn't matter. The perks I'm running with for this final mission are running off fumes, which gives you an exit velo when the pitcher gets below 50% energy. The reason I'm doing that is because Mariano Rivera is a reliever and he's gonna be, um, his energy is gonna be diminishing pretty quickly. Inner piece gives you massive contact boost on pitches down the middle. And then heart attack, contact was well losing. Obviously, we're going to be losing by one run, so I'm going to have that up until whether I tie it or just win it. So I'm also going to go into here, manage my squad, and set up all my best left-handed hitters in the lineup. So I'm going to put Wade Boggs in there, Ted Williams. So those lineup are rocking, all lefties. And switch, obviously, he's going to be hitting lefty. David Ortiz, Dave Parker, Matt Olsen, Cliff Floyd, Ted Williams, Josh Bell, Daniel Murphy, and Wade Boggs. So we built up a pretty solid team here. I'm also going to pinch hit for my pitcher. I have Eduardo Escobar, Glaber on the bench. I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with yet. So let's hop into it. Just need two runs, boys. If I choke this, I will uninstall the game. I give you my word. All right, take the lead before recording 20 outs. Like I said, all we need is two runs to win. And it is on a veteran difficulty too, so it is a little bit easier. A lot of the showdowns are usually on all-star for the final boss, but for the uh, inning showdown, 
programs or the whatever you want to call them their final boss is on veteran so it's a little bit easier let's get it boys and like I said earlier in the video, you want to be really patient in these showdown matchups when you're going up against one of the bosses because especially when it's a reliever, their energy is going to diminish really fast and it's going to get easier and easier the more pitches you take, the more pitches you make him throw. Just miss a home run there, first at bat. And just as I say to be patient, I swing at the first two pitches, and we're down to 18 outs. And that should get out. All right, Cliff Floyd on the fourth pitch to the fourth batter. It's a home run. We're all tied up. All we need is one more. All right, three month count. I would love a walk right here. Ball four. We'll take it. Lead box is on first. Rip that ball out. I'm going to tag up and get to third. All we have to do is get a sack fly and we'll win it. And Ortiz rips one up the middle. And that is it, boys. Got the two runs we needed. It's as simple as that. Pretty easy, especially when you complete most of the missions to get nice and close up to the uh, 15 runs so you don't have that big of a deficit. If you guys like this video and I helped you out in any way, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Comment down below any other types of tips and tricks videos you guys would like to see. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next video.